Aside from occupation, height, looks, it's really how a man smells. And I feel like it's how a man smells and how the attitude of a man is. So that's the two key factors that separates one man from another. It's his attitude and how he smells. That's really two of the key common things that someone's going to describe a man as. Like you're either a really cool person and you smell good, you're either a really cool person and you smell bad and you just suck. What's up guys, my name is Carlos Berto. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. Young Spades, welcome back. I really appreciate you guys coming to my channel today. And also, for anyone new or just happen to stumble across this video, welcome to my channel. My name is Carlos Berto, and that's all you need to know. Let's go ahead and begin with this video. What's up guys, so today I'm here to talk about men's hygiene. The, simple, the simplest thing, something that really shouldn't be even thought about, something that you should really be controlling and taking care of every single day without necessarily having to have a motive or an incentive behind it other than just smelling good and knowing that you don't smell. So the reality about men is that we tend to do smell bad. Usually not necessarily smell bad to the extent where people are very uncomfortable but you know there's a scent of a man a musk that you know you go to the gym and you're like alright it smells kinda bad in here and as a man you have to know that you have to take care of that regardless of any situation and the, the the last thing you want to do is wait to take care of it until someone tells you to smell you don't want someone to say hey man you kinda smell for you to take initiative to take care of yourself and your odors you don't want to wait for someone to tell you that you smell for you to say this is a great incentive for me to start taking care of my hygiene problems so I'm here to tell you guys and share with you guys what you guys could do to become a better man and smell good and become that likable amazing person and human being that people would like to be around even if you're an asshole you still smell good because at the end of the day you're either gonna smell good or you're gonna smell bad and I prefer every one of you guys to smell really good so let's go ahead and talk about key things, I don't know how many key things I'm going to talk about because I'm going to go straight off the dome and key things, key things that are going to prevent you from smelling bad and becoming a better successful human being. First things first, if you are a guy and you want to smell good and you don't know what to do and you say, well, I don't know why I smell bad and people just kind of look at me weird in the subway or on a bus or at work and people just kind of don't want to sit next to me, wake up and take a shower. Wake up and take a shower. And for me, I take showers two times a day because I go to the gym during the evening and I wake up in the morning and I take a nice cold shower, a hot shower, whatever. But it's very important for you to take showers. And that's probably the most easiest, simple, simplest thing to do is take initiative to wake up 15 minutes earlier than what you usually wake up to and just take a shower and use some soap. Just taking a shower with water isn't going to do you justice. And although you should use shampoo and do conditioner, this isn't about hair. This is about body odor. And so even though your hair can smell really bad and sweaty if you don't take care of it use any shampoo just this isn't a hair video for those of you who don't shower in the morning or just don't really take showers that often I highly suggest you do and a good way if you're not interested in doing any other thing take care of preventing you from smelling bad at least buy a good soap and, and I've been using this bar of soap that smells really good and it's from Baxter I bought the whole entire collection I've used three or four of them so far and these Baxter vitamin cleansing bars smell amazing and they hold a very nice potent smell. I like to use these after my gym, after uh, my day's basically over at nighttime when I shower at nighttime because it holds a nice scent to it and I don't have to spray any cologne. If you want to go out to dinner, if you want to go out, if you want to have a late dinner, if you want to have a, a date or something chill or you have friends coming over to just relax and kick it, then this vitamin bar and these bar of soaps from Baxter will definitely do you justice because they smell amazing and there are a few scents that they have all of them smell really good I've tried all of them so far my favorite one is definitely this exfoliating bar that smells very very good and it's an oak moss scent so if you don't really like to take care of your scent and don't want to buy cologne or don't do any of that stuff or really invest in things this is definitely going to prevent you from smelling a little less of bad so I highly suggest you guys check out these Baxter scents they're amazing this is probably one of the best bar soaps I've ever used and I highly recommend and I do continue to use them and buy them this isn't paid or sponsored so this yeah you don't have to worry about that and these are really good for all types of skin so you don't have to really worry about uh, breaking out or any of that so this body soap highly 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 recommend you guys getting at least one bar of soap trying it out and see if it makes a difference a bar of soap is probably the first thing you need to start with for smelling amazing. Baxter, California smells mwah. But 
if you are not interested or if it's out of your budget, then just use Spring Fresh or whatever, one of those ones at Target. Just go buy some soap. So number two is if you guys are willing to buy some soap, then you're good. And if you guys are willing to stop by the deodorant section and pick up some deodorant, I highly suggest you guys do so. Right here I have the Old Spice, which I've been using, and it smells really good. This is a very cheap, affordable price point stick of deodorant which can be found at all major locations like Walmart and Target and grocery stores and everywhere you shop at you're probably gonna be able to find a stick of deodorant so this Old Spice one is very potent this one is kind of strong for me the scent is very very strong I use this once in a while but my skin is kinda of sensitive and this one definitely burns my skin a little bit but for those of you who don't like to shower or really don't like to shower much then I highly suggest you're probably going to need something really strong like this. If not, there's another company who sells amazing deodorant sticks, which are called Zak, Z-A-K, and I have the link right here. I ordered some, but it hasn't arrived yet, but that one smells really good, and it's organic, and it's really good for sensitive skin. This deodorant stick is a pure sport by Old Spice, and it works really good, and I'm pretty sure you could find a scent that smells for you or works for you. And they also have scentless, and they also have all kinds of other different options you guys want, like antiperspirant or this stick of deodorant especially if you're like a student and you are drinking coffee and you're studying and you're just at one position being stressed out you probably end up sweating a lot and you know you don't have time to shower just hit this hit your armpits with us with a little bit like this at least before you leave and you study just you know just realize that there's other people around most likely you're gonna be walking along the streets and people are going to take a whiff of you and just realize that you know you should you should take that in consideration that there's people you know in your surroundings and, and just smell pleasantly good and, and people aren't going to remember you as like oh dude that's that guy who smells because trust me people remember every guy who smells I could remember out of the top of my name a person who was really cool but who just smelled really bad you know and and, and it's not it's not a fun thing it's, it's why you know tip number three is pick up a very good scent a very cool scent and this in particular this brand is probably one of my favorite brands of all times and I talk about this brand a lot especially if you follow me on Instagram at by Carlos Roberto you guys can see I've always used this product for a very long time and I also worked on one of their newest, newest, newest releases that they're going to uh, launch soon and I've helped kind of develop the scent and also just did a lot of testing for them which is amazing and a blessing and this isn't paid for, this isn't a paid mention or anything like that either this is just one of my favorite brands of all times their scents are very open and they're not necessarily masculine, they're not feminine, they're just a very very timeless modern aroma where you could really wear with any with any style of dressing and at any time of the day for any occasion and that's what I really like about it they're such a versatile sense and each and every one of them has a such an individual scent as well but it's still super versatile and and you could definitely just have you know you can't really go wrong with the one that you pick and that's what I love about Fleur. Fleur P H L U R dot com has an amazing collection of Sense and they are really inexpensive. Versatility of Flirt is amazing, so I highly suggest you guys check it out. The price point is about eighty dollars, which is pretty good for a really good scent, a scent that not necessarily a scent that not everyone has. So it's not a very overwhelming scent or overdone scent. By you know, it's not like wearing Giorgio Armani where you know that my cousin's cousin has it and my cousin's grandma has it and my cousin's grandpa has it and everyone has Giorgio Armani. It's a very like high end smell, which is really great. So I definitely recommend you guys check out. Fleur and their price points because they're amazing and their packaging and everything, their story is so great. So go ahead and check it out and it's Fleur.com so go check out Fleur. So if you are a person who takes showers and use soap, check. If you're a person who uses deodorant, check. If you're a person who likes cool fragrances, check. But now we're going to talk about one of my favorite fragrances but it's just at another level of price points. This is more of a higher end uh, fragrance company called Lalabo, and this is a all handcrafted scent made in New York and their products are so amazing and I cannot tell you every time I wear this product it's such a high volume of compliments I'm not even lying you guys could buy a little tester and see for yourself this is the Santal 33 which is probably one of the most um, popular scents that they have and there's a scent for every city as well so they have a scent for like San Francisco, the Tokyo and you cannot go wrong with one of these products. I highly suggest that you guys go check out their stores before you buy them because it's always great to experience the smell before you actually purchase because they are pretty expensive. The price range is a little bit over $150 and up. So 
if you are into if you are a fragrance connoisseur if you are a person who wants to and likes to invest in the fragrances i highly suggest you guys check out this brand la labo because you cannot go wrong and trust me their scents are amazing they also have a really great face wash and they have a very great pomade so i've been using both of those things together which smell really good and just the pomade alone or just the face cream really really has a great scent to it so it just enhances the level of you know cleansiness and and smelling good and smelling refreshing it's a very good oil based fragrance it lasts a very long time and it just smells wonderful so that's what i have for you guys today for this hygiene smelling good video i hope you find it helpful i hope you find these tips helpful i hope you guys actually go do something about it because i honestly just been recently bumping into people who just smell really bad and I don't get why and I'm like all you have to do is shower and, and use soap at least at the bare minimum um, but yeah and any other pro and any other products and additions that you're gonna add to your lifestyle routine is just a, a bonus and I guarantee you you just be able to live better and, and feel better and build confidence as well knowing that if you're an amazing person and you smell good it's a great combination so yeah I hope you guys find these tips helpful if you guys are a person who just doesn't necessarily know why they smell bad and, and, and want to take initiative, I highly suggest at the bare minimum buy a, a really good soap and also take showers. I uh, highly suggest doing that two times a day. I know that people like to take showers at night times, but you know, you sweat during the night times, your body you know, puts out weird things. And I don't think there's a reason why we should smell bad in this day and age because there's so many things out there at an affordable price, at a price point that it's not necessary. It's not, it, it, there's no reason why someone should smell really bad unless you're coming out the gym. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful. Let me know what your favorite fragrances are or what your hygiene routine is because it is a very important to have a hygiene routine no matter what. So let me know down below what your hygiene routine is and if you guys have tried any of these products or if you guys have any questions regarding these products, go ahead and ask them down below and connect with me. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at by Carlos Roberto. Another thing, guys. There is this amazing brand called Racker Steady who's been selling, who I've partnered up with to create a nice curated collection um, with for jewelry and some tops that they were inspired by my looks. So I basically just sent them a portfolio of my looks and what I like and they went ahead and, and sourced it and put it on their marketplace. So if you guys are interested in checking out affordable uh clothing and, and jewelry and accessories i'm telling you they're very affordable and very accessible definitely build a good outfit for under 100 dollars, or you could buy an accessory for like 25 bucks especially this thing that i wear all the time and also some really cool rings so check out rackersteady.com for a very amazing shopping experience at an affordable price and they just released a sick denim jacket which i did post on my instagram yesterday on my stories because it's fire and it's very very cool go ahead and check them out as well shout out to rocket steady for allowing me to be one of their first influencers to work with this isn't a paid sponsored video this is just for my spades so thank you guys so much for stopping by my youtube channel young spades i'll see you guys on instagram and don't forget to engage with me like comment and share if you guys want and subscribe to my youtube channel so thank you guys so much for stopping by my youtube channel i hope you guys have an amazing weekend and uh build up your hygiene routine please thank you so much peace out don't forget to put style on everything.